Hi Scorpio, this is your May 2020 general tarot forecast. So Scorpio, this is for your sun, your moon, and your rising signs. That means that if your rising sign is Scorpio, this is for you as well as sun and moon Scorpios. I hope that you're enjoying your bi-weeklies. We're going to go a little bit more in depth with this. This is for the entire month for you. I just want to say a quick sorry for getting these out late. We had this super weird tragedy last week where I live and it just threw me off of my schedule entirely. So please accept these even though these are a tiny bit late, but they are for the full month. So you should be getting them within the first week of May. All right, Scorpio Sun, Moon, Rising. What do you need to know for May 2020? Scorpio Sun, Moon, Rising, May 2020. Scorpio Sun, Moon, Rising. Sun, Moon, Rising. This is just for Scorpio. Sun, Moon, Rising. Here we go, guys. Let's get out your first layer. I'm um, going to put a mini tarot on top. So we're going to qualify this first layer, but let's get this guy out. Lots of swords, lots of head energy. Okay. Could be dealing with an air sign couple. Um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Could be dealing with contracts, um, legal obligations, something that could be causing some concern that is, um, look at all these swords. There could be a concern around, um, wow, nice. So. As you can see, we're looking at a lot of swords. Let's look at these in brief before I get a second layer. Two, four, five swords cards. Um, we do have two queens. We have some individuals here because of all the court cards. So Libra, Aquarius, Aries are some of the people or energies that you could be dealing with. Here we're dealing with probably someone in medicine or law contracts, um, um, legal environments, information sharing, study, universities, medicine, or some themes here. There could be someone involved with a divorce or just a single woman. This could be you or someone that you know in your environment who is single. Um, definitely around the beginning of the month though, we're looking at a lot of concerns around information and uh, like clinical progress. It's also just really cold energy so it could just be that you have to perform something here or you have to do something. Um, very interesting, oops, oh shoot, sorry about that. Very interesting to see and like I said you could be dealing with a couple. Bottom of the deck energy is the seven of wands. You feel like you might have to protect something here or that um, you have to defend something, right? And when I say cold, right, just cold energy, this is a person in authority. It could even just be your energy, Scorpio, the, at the beginning of the month here, that you have to make some firm decisions to either keep yourself from overthinking or from, or from staying up at night you know, staying awake at night. Seven of swords, uh, seven of wands, as I said, though, bottom of the deck energy. It's actually really positive energy to have there. And then, of course, as you can see, we have the magician and the world. Those are beautiful energies. And coming to completion here, you're just really getting over something. It could be that you have to go through something difficult 
um, and deal with some authority figures. Um, you know, it could have to do with anything having to do with communication or flight or travel. Could just be a pain in the butt at that, you know, at the beginning of the month as well. Definitely smoother, something smoothed out, smoother waters up ahead. Let's get a second layer on this and see what is going on for you. Qualify Celtic Cross for Scorpio. Qualify Celtic Cross for Scorpio. And something just may be early in the thinking and um, communication stages here as well. Here we have some pay. Okay, so there could be children involved, and we have the world twice, guys. So major tectonic changes. That just means your whole world could be changing. You could even be moving. Um, I want to get a quick count on our pages here. One, two, three pages. Um, I look very quickly to see what that indicates. Groups of young people. We actually have four pages here because there's a four page of pentacles. Pentacle is represented twice, so I'm not gonna read it as a fourth card. Um, but it is very curious that the page of pentacles is coming out twice for you. So groups of young people, you could even be celebrating, you could um, be teaching, and um, these younger people could be family members, um, or they could be people relying on you as well, or that, you know, your decisions here are impacting. But this is pretty exciting, to be honest with you guys. What else have we got here in terms of people? So we have a king, we have two kings of swords. So yeah, I mean, someone in authority, an authority figure is impacting how you are going about moving into the next phase of your life in a really big way. So authority is really important here. Um, have we got two kings that aren't the same suit. So you'll notice we have a king of swords and another king of swords. However, they are the same suit. I'm not going to read them as twice, as in two kings. If they were of different suits, I would. However, you could be dealing with business opportunities. You could be dealing with business opportunities with two air sign individuals or a very specific Aquarius individual. I'm just putting that out there as well. And you could be dealing with a Libra individual or just balancing a balancing act around the home. All right, seven of wands qualified by the world, right? So you're defending a decision for the next phase of your life or you feel like you are doing the right thing for the next phase of your life. You're definitely leveling up here, guys. This is a major difference, a major deal, significant move into the future, almost like no going back, not, not in the same way like death, like it's been taken from you or removed or transformed. This is, you can always go back. It Something hasn't changed necessarily, but you are definitely moving and defending your decision to move into the next phase of your life in a very, very big way. We're looking at homes. We're looking at possibly moving to another place in the world, right? By the time we're looking at the world, this could be another country, moving to another country. Here we have is the situation for you, okay, for the entire month. The Nine of Swords qualified by the Four of Cups. I'm only giggling because I'm actually pleased to see this qualified by the Four of Cups. This means this is just kind of a meh. It's not an overwhelming situation. This is just something that you would rather not deal with, which is if you're going to see the Nine of Swords, you're, you might as well see the Four of Cups with it, frankly, because this isn't necessarily keeping you up at night in an overwhelming way, this is just an annoyance, okay? So actually, this is really nice to see for you. You're just annoyed by maybe even the process of something. It's the least of your worries, though. This is over really quickly, um, and this is not going to keep you up. It might have to do with an authority figure, as I mentioned, someone who's in charge, someone who might hold the strings, or a decision maker here that you might have to confer with. It's just 
something you'd rather not do but again it's not overwhelming and it's not going to stymie you in any way here it could even be a formality here guys king of swords crosses this um, situation qualified by strength so this is really honestly just going to help embolden your personal character frankly um, you are going to have to call on some um, inner strength here at this time but you've done it before you'll notice the infinity sign over her head you've done this before it's just it's a practice of self-restraint and character building so this could be a positive um, first of the week for you guys frankly this person could even be helping you and you could be dealing with an Aquarius or um, a Leo individual here. Certainly the Leo um, being opposite to Aquarius is that there could be hot and cold, there could be warm and cold energies here, or it could just be like this formality is kind of annoying, um, but it's for the greater good, it's for a very, in a very positive, warm, um, creative direction for you. So those are very interesting to see because this is not going to keep you up at night um, in a terrible way. Like I said, this is just an annoyance. You would just rather not <laughs> do that and that's understandable. Here in your foundation, this definitely has to do with your home possibly moving. Queen of Swords qualified by the Four of Wands. So this is a nice, healthy, happy, stable home, right? Um, you could be living with another single woman or moving in with another single woman who is very, very wise, or you consider her very wise, um, or, or just experienced. This person has a lot of experience. They could be a Libra person. They don't have to be Libra. And I want you to note that the four here of wands is looking at 1111 synchronicity. So this person could have a great deal of impact in your spiritual life um, or in a sense of a happy home. However you read a happy home is, this person, this single person is um, very much a positive impact on a healthy, happy home here, or at least the start of one. Here in your recent past is the Page of Pentacles, some good news around money. Here's where we could have a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn child, um, or just a gift or an asset or an offer in that area around assets or health, qualified here by the Nine of Wands. The Nine of Wands is actually quite lovely as long as it doesn't go on forever. Um, this is a project, a pet project that you took on willingly, and um, you're just waiting to see through. You want to follow through with, um, could have to do with work, could have to do with an enterprise, work, earning money. Um, but certainly in your recent past here, this was a project you undertook that you knew was gonna take a little bit of effort and you knew was gonna take a little bit of time, but it's gonna be worth it, it's gonna pan out, it's gonna be comfortable for you and it could even bring a lot of um, comfort to you. Wounded soldier energy does sit behind the nine of wands, however, so you could just feel fatigued or at least in the recent past coming in to the end of the second week here, you could have felt fatigued. What is crowning the situation is maybe a battle of words, maybe feeling um, that you and another person may not have enough of something, may not have enough money, may not have enough food or time. Um, there could be a little bit of a conversation here or a little bit of a debate around this situation, but you're not alone. You and one other person are experiencing this. This is a great time to ask for help. Don't let pride get in the way here. Um, ask for help at this time or reach out and ask for help or look for services where you can find help. Sometimes when we see the Five of Pentacles, which is a little bit of conflict, all the fives are. Um, sometimes when we see that, we recognize that there is a need for help, right? That you can reach out and you can get that at this time. Here we're seeing the Page of Pentacles twice. We just saw him back here and he's in your near future, right? So this ends positively. So we have some pages, um, a little offer of security, little offer of communication or information just when you need it. You know, this is perceived or real loss or lack or um, poverty, right? Five of Pentacles is considered the poverty card, but it usually speaks of a couple or two people. So, you know, don't suffer in silence, reach out, get help, because your near future does offer that to you. The Six of Swords looks like a really positive journey can be physical, but it can be of the mind as well. And your money matters could be taken care of, right? 
in a small way. Maybe there's a small gift or offer here, but it looks like it's going to ease your mind nonetheless. So definitely reach out for help if you need it at this time. It will be it will be provided to you. How you're seeing yourself is pretty intense here, guys. Super positive. How you're seeing yourself is the Nine of Pentacles qualifying the Magician. So, I mean, Nine of Pentacles all by herself is a really nice independent wealth energy. This is feeling refined. This is dressing nicely, looking nice. Um, you could even be able to impact other people or impact opinions or observations at this time by looking very wealthy, by looking independently, um, monetarily secure. And um, it actually could behoove you right now to appear in your finery, to look refined and look successful in order to get what it is you need from your environment here as well. And it's not trickery, right? Like you do have to have this in order to emulate a sense of um, well-being and doing well for yourself. But the emulation is going to help give you a lot of peace as well. Um, sorry, I just saw someone walking through my backyard that I wasn't expecting. That was strange. Uh, but this is really positive, especially to see yourself this way. That you see yourself as someone who can, who has manifest, immense manifestation potential. Okay. How others are seeing you is as someone who may be sensitive um, to something feeling like it could be overwhelming that you want to see come to an end. Um, you could be talking about this in a very sensitive way. You could need a lot of um, emotional support at this time. Even though you're coming at a situation or other people, you could be presenting yourself as someone who is independently wealthy, maybe have all the answers, you have all the aces. You know, you have a lot of positives, and we'll see this here in a moment, um, going your way but how other people are interpreting you for some reason at least by the fourth week of the month here is someone who just feels like something is collapsing um like something is on overkill and that you have like a sensitive communication um or you need sensitive communication at this time it could just mean mean that you need to communicate with someone who understands your heart Maybe you need to communicate with someone who understands your emotional world or you need to express what's on your mind, how upset or how um, taxing something has mentally been for you in order for you to just relax and open up for the next level of your life because we're seeing such enormous um, personal uh, and, and professional um, actualization here in your hopes and fears we have the ace of wands qualifying the queen of wands and so stunning energy for self-actualization here guys this could be an Aries person in your environment however this could be you and if this is a business venture for you um, if your hopes and fears around you know your beautiful glorious future going in the right direction confidently and comfortably here has to do with a new business enterprise, new income potential, an entirely new job or employment situation could be very possible here. And you could be an entrepreneur. You could be working for yourself here. And that's definitely um, an option for you, it looks like. And if you were wondering, should I take this risk where I am an entrepreneur and I do work for myself? I would say absolutely go for it. This is a beautiful opportunity. This is being handed to you. Something could be handed to you, put in your lap. Here's an offer. Here's an opportunity. You know what? And, and it's self-driven. It's um, self-motivated. In other words, you work for yourself. You know, I would take that chance here. It's definitely looking as though it's going to be a world of difference because your outcome or the advice here is the king of swords qualifying the world. So again, we're dealing with some, you know, intense information, an authoritative person. Remember, when we're dealing with a sense of authority here, we are dealing with not only medicine, police, law, that type of thing, um, but contracts and obligations, right? So signing on the dotted line could be it in terms, in terms of moving into the future. I want to mention as well that when we're dealing with swords, we are dealing with energy that is communication, but also having to deal with the world of electronics. Um, emails, 
e-transfers, um, videos, um, you know, texts, that type of thing. So it could be that this new venture could have to do with the world of communicating via video, uh, via text message, just perhaps even leaving one environment that was uninspirational for you and choosing another environment that provides more inspiration. But yeah, I mean, you're going from the world, I'll take all of these, I guess, from the world of the thought process, the idea phase, um, maybe even um, something authority. You might have just felt like you were under someone's thumb. You know, you had to get out from someone's thumb in order to position yourself for a future that you truly desire, as opposed to one that you were in that was disinspirational or uninspired. And that takes effort and that takes time. And yeah, you could even feel it on some level here that you have to talk about it, that you have to, um, you know, honor how that feels for you. You just have a lot of qualifying um, oracle cards jumping out for you here, guys. It's nice, though. These are really nice, gentle cards for you. I see forgiveness here. We'll look at this in just a moment. But forgiveness jumped out of the Healing with the Angels oracle. And I do feel like it's just you. I do feel like you just have to sort of let something go for yourself in order to move on into the future. Maybe you couldn't have expected it. Maybe it was just something that happened and you couldn't have, there's no right way to deal with it because, you know, even though you had done something difficult before around um, perhaps a group of people, um, possibly that you worked with or had some um, relationship to because they were authority, you had to answer to them. You know, you can make moves in a direction that's more positive for you and forgiving yourself for not knowing better, forgiving them for keeping you down, forgiving um, anyone in your environment for not having enough or not planning ahead. I mean, these things happen, guys, and a lot of things that have happened to the global community now since, say, February really couldn't have been anticipated. So, you know, Give yourself space, try to forgive yourself or forgive others if that's possible for not knowing what to do um, whenever, when before right now, right? Um, because how were any of us supposed to know? Just, just trust that you have the strength of character to get through this. We have children coming up in the Romance Angels. This is really interesting to see for you because of all the pages, as I mentioned at the very beginning for you. We are dealing with a variety of children, whether they're yours or someone else's or someone who's a child or you feel like a child or um, you're working in an environment where you like to see children. If this is a romance reading for, or relationship reading for you, this other person could have children, etc. But your love life is being affected by children. So this is important, Scorpio, for you on some <laughs> level. I'm not sure what. Um, these three came out of my medicine card deck. I want to focus on Owl for a moment. Owl is deception. It's kind of a misnomer that that card is called deception because the motivation behind the, the Owl's term being deception is that you can see through it. So I'm going to ask that you really trust your judgment right now. You really trust your instincts, um, your inner power, your sense of justice, and um, really trust yourself at this time because you can see through any deception very easily. Don't let someone slip you up or trip you up. You know, just keep going in your direction. You can defend you can easily and um, uh, honestly defend the position that you're taking moving toward this new life for yourself. And then we have cleansing here with frog and we have um, self-esteem here with elk. So this could just be a major new 
life, a major new opportunity, a new leap into the future, something that maybe you're the authority, maybe you're the one that you have to, <laughs> you have to convince yourself, you need permission from yourself here somehow. Um, but very interesting, you can see through deception and you're cleansing, um, you know, your self-esteem or you're being asked to do some cleansing around your self-esteem or perhaps this whole project, at least by the end of the month for you, will be in process of cleansing and developing your self-esteem so that you feel, so that you feel you can um, express how you really feel about yourself, which is beautiful. It's extremely beautiful and it's extremely powerful. And we have these two jumping out of my wisdom of the oracle. We have yin and time for a nap. Time for a nap just really speaks to a sense of, um, you know, resting your mind. All these swords as energies, as I said, the swords is really this sense of concern, you know, the what ifs and the how could they's. And, you know, you sort of make up, <laughs> we all do it. We make up these conversations in our mind sometimes, or we replay something over and over. So time for a nap is really just saying, you know, give yourself a break mentally from something that feels taxing or just useless. If it's not, if it's not helping your future, it, it's going to be useless. And um, you know, take a rest from that. If you feel overwhelmed in any way during this month, physically, financially, emotionally mentally don't be afraid to take a, a break from that allow yourself a rest from that and then the last card is yin as you can see it's sort of like this little temple bowl that's filled up this is the opposite to yang and yang is speaking to externalized uh, force the yin is the internal force you know what do you have to gain here it could just be that you need to get in touch with your emotional world and really acknowledge that and really, um, you know, bless that. You don't have to be mad at yourself for not knowing something or not having something or not being prepared for something. You don't have to put yourself down. You don't have to berate yourself or, um, uh, you know, create conflict within yourself. You know, you're just going to let some emotions flow here or emotions would be better off flowing and shared with others, but you always have enough and you always have someone to turn to, it looks like here. Generally speaking, this is gonna be someone who's female, right? Whether you're a Scorpio man or woman watching, the yin is talking to turning to someone who is emotionally available to you or certainly um, honoring your emotional self, right? That this is just as important going within and honoring your emotional world as it is going out and producing things in your external world. So balance is really nice key for you this month, Scorpio, but just a beautiful, um, by the time we're going into the month of June here, absolutely, possibly speaking for a lot of you Scorpios, an entirely new world. It could even be a new home or a living situation. So guys, super happy for you. Good luck with everything. See you in the next video. Take care.